and uh, we're looking at two Biasi boilers with Beckett burners that will fire in tandem. Um, as you saw, we took out one large boiler that was uh, three and a half gallons an hour and 500,000 BTUs. And even on mild days, it would come on and uh, fire at three and a half gallons. Now we have two boilers fire independently um, and together, depending on the load. Uh, we have the Taco control over here, which we'll go over in a little bit, which manages that whole process. So the theory here is, on a mild day, with a partial load, one boiler will come on and heat the house up and we'll get a nice longer run cycle, we'll have a much better clean burn and uh, better flow through the pipes. Uh, one, as the demand increases, as hot water comes on, as demand for that, the second boiler will kick in whenever needed. And also the take of control will alternate which boiler is the primary and which one is the backup so one isn't worked more than the other. Uh, and one other problem they had here at the house was as the house was added on to and changed and altered and um, renovated, they would tap into the pipes and run a a different heating zone or a different element over there, ultimately creating some imbalances and mismanaged control. So we cleaned up all the near boiler piping and uh, did a primary secondary loop to help manage that process. And with the better long, longer run times, we hope that uh, we're pretty sure that we'll solve some of those issues. And now I've generally explained some of the uh, items that we have here. So this is Jeremy Clemens, been with us for a long time, the lead installer on this project. He's here to explain uh, some of the control systems that make this possible. Just want to talk to you guys about a couple things. One being the takeo control. This is the staging control for the two boilers. Has a couple things it does do. One is the outdoor reset. Um, has a curve built into it where, uh, depending on the temperature outside, it will run the boiler at 120 degrees, 140 degrees. On mild weather days, like when it's like 60 degrees out, 50 degrees out, and as temperature starts dropping outside, it will start raising temperature boilers as needed. Um, that's something that could be adjusted for each house, as this house is a stone house, a lot looser than a conventional house, so you're going to obviously need higher water to heat the house. Um, two, um, it also has the sensor that goes on to the boiler piping which that's what senses what types the boil what temperature a boiler is at. Um, this TICO control next to it is the zone control. Each thermostat wire comes in. <clears throat> you have uh, three zones in this house, and then the fourth zone is actually the uh, hot water zone. Um, nice thing about this control, it does have a hot water priority. What that does is say all the zones in the house are calling, um, and the hot water calls. It will actually shut down all the zones in the house and just send all the heat to the to the indirect hot water heater. That way you have endless hot water. Otherwise, your house would rob the two boilers of the heat and you would lose your hot water. It would start to fall behind. So possibility it's there as a safety, correct? Right. Sometimes, you know, it's necessary, sometimes it's not. Large house like this with the rat ears sometimes it's just, you know, it could be a problem. Alright, uh, next thing I want to talk about was the upgraded fuel filter we put on here. This is a, uh, it's a, it's a Westwood uh, complete filter. Uh, has a couple things. The cartridge for oil filter is easily replaced. It's like a car filter. You unspin it, spin a new one on. Uh, it does filter a lot better than the conventional you know, RF, RF uh, filters. Um, will shut off also. There's a gauge here, it's a vacuum gauge. As this filter starts getting dirtier, the gauge will start to rise. You can see it goes from green to yellow to red. Um, it's easy for the homeowner or technician when he walks in. You can see what the vacuum is when he comes in for either a service call or a tune-up. Um, you can see what the vacuum is to see how dirty the filter is. Um, it's definitely a bonus when you're even a homeowner. You have tank issues. Actually, to walk down, take a quick check, and see where your vacuum is. See how dirty how the filter is. Uh, next thing is in here. We put in a Beckett Low Knox um, burner. Has a few upgrades on it also, or, or better things than the old fashioned burners. One is being oil delay valve that helps um, you know, with the cleaner burn when it first fires. Um, two is the control, the primary control that does a post purge and a pre purge when it comes on, again, to help, help a smoother burn. 
uh, smooth our fire up and to um, obviously get more efficient um, combustion. combustion. Interesting uh, parts of this job. Uh, for one, it was a very big boiler it was a challenge getting the old boiler out of here. Uh, the boiler probably weighed roughly probably a thousand pounds, so uh, we actually have to take it apart in sections to get it out of here. Um, second, you know, when you come in here and see the old way of piping, all you have was supply and returns, which is a very basic way to pipe things in. Uh, when you get the piping schematic and start piping this in, you can see it's a lot of work and not everybody can do it so uh to me it's like a piece of art that's why i like doing it <laughs> pretty creative so and tell me about the biasi boiler the uh is it triple pass cast iron yeah it's uh it's it has a couple great features to it um i know for me it's being installed right in service is that uh it's very easy to uh service um and clean and maintenance uh, a couple reasons why is to clean this boiler, all we have to do is re remove the burner cover and the front cover. There's a plate right here we can um, vacuum out the heater. Um, and obviously all the work's right in front of you.